Hello everyone, my name is Hal, this is Quail Studios Guitar. Today, I'm going to start right off playing What Child Is This? You ready? <laughs> what child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping who angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch our keeping this this is Christ the King whom shepherds guard and angels sing hey to bring him Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Why lies he in such mean estate, where ox and ass are feeding? Good Christian fear for sinners here, the silent word is bleeding. Nail spear shall pierce him through. The cross be born for me, for you. Hail, hail the word made flesh, the babe, the son of man. Bring him incense, gold, and myrrh. Come, peasant king, to own him. The king of kings salvation brings. Let loving hearts enthrone him. Raise, raise the song on high. The virgin sing her lullaby. Joy, joy, for Christ is born, the babe, the son of Mary. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Let's see who's here. Dermot. Merry Christmas, Bob. Merry Christmas, Dermot. I'm looking at a uh, little back and forth between Bob and Dermot here. And uh, yes, Bob, I think uh, you're high today. I looked it up and it was like five degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> Fahrenheit. Um, plus five, <laughs> which is very cold. Uh, yes. Anyway. So there you go. What child is this? It's based on, here, let me move that. Where did it go? Oops. There we go. It's based on uh, Green Sleeves, which is a wonderful little tune. And it's probably like about 440 years ago, it was first registered or written down and uh, so we don't know how old it is, really. Uh, it's lost to memory. Uh, it might have been around for years and years before someone actually wrote it down and, and started putting it in a book or publishing it or whatever you call it. Uh, so uh, we don't know how old it is exactly, but we know it's at least 440 years old. Now, in the description of this video is a tab to What Child Is This? so you will be able to see it. And if you're new to this particular piece of music, right, 
what you want to do is you want to learn the melody. This is the green sleeves melody. changed it a couple of times <laughs> uh, because the green sleeves melody right there it uses the minor the natural minor scale whereas the uh, what child is this melody uses the harmonic minor scale instead of the F Instead of, and then, instead of, right? So there's a difference between harmonic minor and natural minor. The natural minor actually sounds uh, more medieval and uh, older. The harmonic minor sounds more modern. And it's what we're really used to because we use harmonic minor uh, n excuse me, uh, melodic minor a lot more. We also use harmonic minor. Thank you very much for letting me know if the video is good and if the uh, sound is good. Appreciate it. So you can get in the video, in the description of this video, the tablature for what child is this. So uh, I also have just a regular... Uh, melody version written out in tablature. You could uh, email me for that, lessonswithhal at gmail.com. Or you could get my book, and it'll have all three versions. It'll have just the melody. It will have, and in fact, you know, you don't need a capo. I'd use the capo to sing. Let me uh, tune back up here. Make sure that I've got my n my strings in tune. sharp. That one's a little flat. When you take your capo off or put your capo on, it actually changes the, the tuning a little bit because it pushes on those strings. Uh, on the screen, let me find my version of what child is this? Let's see, where is it at? <coughs> oh, you know what I can do? I can pull this up on we're going to see here if this works. We're going to go to quailstudios.com and go to the guitar book. Here, let me show you how to do this. I'll put it on screen for you. Okay, I'll make it bigger so you can see it. <laughs> there it is. <coughs> okay, so here we are at quailstudios.com. What you do is you go to quailstudios.com, which looks like this. You go to music. The drop-down box comes on. You go to guitar book. You go to green sleeves right here. You click on that. And then you see green sleeves. Now, if I go back and look at melody only, you can see that there's a melody only version right here. All right. Let's see if I can get this to where it's a little smaller. 
and you can continue to see me. And my screen has gotten funny. Okay, there we go. I'm going to see if I can put us both on the screen here. No, nope, that isn't working. There we go. <coughs> I'm just struggling right here to, to get everything working. Exactly the way I want it to. There we go. So um, you can see on the screen, if you have a big enough screen, this is the melody. Right? And then you also can see that there are chord symbols above that. And these chord symbols, A minor, G with the B bass, C, these go along with So you can actually take that melody and put the chords to it As you get more advanced, then you can do this, and you can start to put the actual tablature like that with it. Like that. So if you get my book, you can get those three versions. The just the uh, melody version, and then you can get the, it has the chords and everything, so you can see it. Also, it has, uh, what child is this? And of course, you could go to my website and uh, download those, because they are actually there. It's called uh, Quail Studios, quail-studios.com. All right, let me know if you need anything else on that, but that's exactly how you play it. Now, the thing that really makes this stand out is that when you have <coughs> here let's make sure that this is the you can see everything here there we go the thing that makes this really stand out is that you have to bring out the melody right you can't play the other notes louder that's why I say you need to learn how to play just the melody by itself. And then put the chords with it. Right? And then learn how to finger pick it. Or you could go like this. and eventually get to the part where you can go. It's very, very important that you take your time and learn these steps one at a time. So uh, let's go back to questions and answers and see if we have any great uh, questions and answers. I have gone a bit blurry. Okay, no problem. <coughs> mm, okay, I don't know why I'm a little blurry. I don't know why that would be it. But uh, I did, yes, I did adjust my bit rate, as Bob said, to eliminate, eliminate the skips in the live stream. Although the sound should be good, because I didn't adjust anything on the sound. Very good. Well, that's it. Um, what I want you to do 
is practice these kinds of things. Why don't you give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here. And uh, that's it for Christmas music this year. Next week we're going to do something a little different. And by the way, you can email me and make suggestions, and that would be great. And uh, let me know what kind of thing you'd like to see, what kind of music you'd like to hear. <coughs> Maybe I'll even put out a poll at my YouTube channel and also at uh, Patreon and Subscribestar and to the different people that are on my email list. I will send that out and ask questions about what you'd like to see and what you'd like to hear. Uh, I always like to hear uh, those kinds of in that kind of input so that I can uh, tailor my teaching to that. All right, very good. Thank you very much for coming along. Merry Christmas to all of you, and we will see you next week if I don't see you sooner. Take care.